This segment is brought to you by Fit Pro Fitment. Wow. Welcome, welcome, guys. In this episode, we are joined by various clients from around the globe. Follow us as we go after Dangerous Game and Plains Game in the Limpopo Valley Game Reserve of South Africa. Sailors, are you?
in the end. You see, I changed my routine. I shaved, I put on a new shirt, Ooh, okay. all for the buffalo. <laughs> Trigger Cam, for the ultimate firearm filming solution. Proud sponsor of African Safari Films and Big Game Adventures series. Perfect.
Yeah, it was um, we, it's the, the second day we tried to catch uh, some something and uh, this morning we, we are lucky we saw a few a bunch of uh, uh, impala and then uh, we take a, a ride uh, all over to come in uh, until the wind yeah. and uh, yeah then I can shoot this uh, nice impala gram from uh, I don't know which distance 50 meters I don't yeah. know something like that yeah so congratulations you've got you a very much. nice yeah. impala okay <laughs> One thing almost in the brush. And today, after game drive, we saw we saw a group of five, and he was by them. And when he crossed the road, um, lucky I can uh, catch him. And uh, yeah, playing uh, it, it was I think uh, around 100 meter or something like that. Yeah. I'm I'm glad to shoot also this uh, wonderful Oryx. Yeah. The next segment is proudly brought to you by Olight. Next level lighting, when hunters need it the most. Light, turning night into day. Right 
Hi Jesper. Um, first of all, welcome. Thank you. We just Paris. Uh, we are in the Limpopo Valley Game Reserve. Well, this morning you arrived in Johannesburg. We took the drive up, and this afternoon we are already out scouting. So, yeah, as you can see, it's still early season. It's the 7th of March, 22. The bush is still thick. Um, so it's going to make for challenging hunting. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. So we off to Cape Buffalo. Nice old Cape Buffalo, sable, and a couple of planes going. So yeah, I think early tomorrow morning we'll hit the ground running and see what we can get. Um, Jesper is here with a group of 11 other people and uh, follow us during this week as we will see what we can get. Um, a little bit unexpected, but yeah, but the unexpected is, is that's why we want it. Exactly. I, when I came around the bush, I first just saw this, the black yeah. because it was feeding. Obviously, it's not a buffer because yeah. the body size. Yeah. And when he lifted his head, I said, Yeah, this is a sable we cannot leave. Yeah, all right, yes, but um, yeah, this afternoon didn't turn out completely as we, we planned. We were chasing after buffalo the whole day. And um, yeah, just now before sunset, we, we actually had an idea of where the buffaloes might be and we just got our wind right and started stalking through this, this section. <clears throat> and uh, you know, you, you told me earlier on that you, you would like an old, nice old sable bull. Yeah. And um, yeah, while tracking these buffaloes, this old warrior he came out. Um, he came out. He had no idea we were there. He was no. busy feeding. Gave us enough time to judge him and make sure that it's an old bull. And, uh, and uh, he def made a perfect shot. Yeah, and it definitely is an old bull. Yeah. So, so yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Thank you.
another nice old female. Nice color. Yeah, sir. Congratulations. That's really <laughs> well done. Sir. That's a nice little bull. That's a big bull. That's a nice bull, yeah. Uh, you said you didn't see the horns before we shot him. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I first just saw the, the back part of him. No. And then I saw the movement in the brush. And I couldn't see the complete set of no. horns. But I did see the tip, and I could see the tip was, was nice. fully formed and going up. Yeah. You see the second shot, he didn't react at all. No, they really. just smashed straight through. This time of the year, it's, first of all, it's difficult to find big bulls like this because of the brush. Now, this little riverbed, when it gets, um, when the bush gets more dry, obviously this stays a bit greener longer. Yeah. So the kudus like it, so I thought, well, I might try it. Uh -huh. Work. So. See, I don't see why they had to spend eight hours getting a kudu yesterday on their hands. These took like what, 15 minutes? Uh, we walked on probably about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Perfect, let's go and look at your kudu. We go around those steps on. Yeah. It might be cool. Yeah. No, that's a exceptional kudu. Yeah. Yeah, of course, it was on a, quite an angle. Yeah. Well, Jesper, um, we came to the end of the safari. Yeah. It was an absolute blast and we had a wonderful time. Um, like I said earlier on, the time of the year really makes for challenging hunting. But I think we've put in the effort and we got all the rewards. Yeah, we actually did. And we did really put in the efforts. And uh, like you said, it's like that it was just so thick and, well, the animals have all the advantage, but uh, we actually got what we wanted. So, yeah. And then, like you said, we had a had a good time, had a lot of good food, 
good drinks, good company. So yes. couldn't have asked for more. Yeah. I mean, couldn't be happier. Yeah. I said your your original or your main focus was the Cape Buffalo and an ice sable bull. Yeah. Uh, we did spend a lot of time on the Cape Buffaloes. Um, we were on Buffalo every single day almost. Yeah. And uh, everything came together on, on day four for us. We got a beautiful, beautiful sable bull, um, beautiful poodle bull. Yeah. Um, we have a little Steinbuck. Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't think that we, we could have asked for anything better. Well. And you also helped us out a little bit on the management side, taking a, a cold giraffe. Yeah. So yeah, I want to thank you. Yeah. and. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.